today we will talk about some basic statistics um, in the pre-algebra and beginning algebra level. Um, so let's go over a couple of things. Okay, to do basic statistics we need to um, do some number crunching based on the data we collected or somebody else collected. Uh, I'm going to look at a very simple um, how can we analyze the center and spread of data. Where is the chunk of my data and then how far away is it spread from that center of the data. Okay, the first thing to do that to find either one, you need to take your data and you need to sort it. You can do it with a computer or you can do it by hand. Uh, sort it, you just try to say, okay, one is less than that, put it aside and look at the next um, data set. And probably you'll never have to do that by hand, but for a small data set, probably you can do it by hand. All right, so we're going to find the center and the spread of data. Okay. So the first one, I just um, have some actual data here. Again, that's the, my grade distribution for the final for the Math 10 class, statistics class. I have 36 students in that class, and um, I just give them a bunch of grades. And the first thing I do is sort them. So I just sorted them out, and these are in order. The weakest student got 40, the strongest student got 99. So if we're talking about the center, one way to um, measure center of data is mean. And we usually show it with like x bar. And we write mean. We can also use the word arithmetic mean. So what it is is it is the sum of all the values, in this case sum of the grades, divided that, divided by number of grades. So sum divided by the number. So sum is going to be 40 plus 51 plus 52 plus 53, and you go and you add those up. That adds up to be a big number. You can do it yourself if you want, 2,834. And that data is good for 36 students. Make sure you count how many students we are talking about. So you just take that and divide by the number of students. That gives me 78.7. .7. Now, one rule of thumb do not go beyond having one more decimal than what your data is. Your data doesn't have any decimals. So to have too many decimals doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So have at most one extra one, so 78.7. .7. Instead of saying 79, I said 78.7. .7. It's not quite 79, but a little bit short of 79. So the mean is going to have maybe one more decimal than your virgin data here. So that tells me most students are passing, you know, in, in that range. The center of my data is um, a high C, it looks like. All right. The second thing is the spread of the data. The spread of my data. Um, that can be measured by something, and, and you're going to see this in a stats class. Uh, it is going to be standard deviation. But for a beginning algebra or pre-algebra class, to calculate standard deviation involves some notation and square roots and taking differences of square roots. That's a little bit too much at this level. So I'm not going to tell you um, how to calculate standard deviation. Just use a graphing calculator or some kind of technology to get that. Uh, but I will show you how to calculate the rate and range and mid-range mid of data. That is an indicator of spread as well. The range is the maximum value of your data minus the minimum. Remember what it was? For 99 minus 40, 59. So this is how far my extreme values are spread. Okay, so that kind of gives me an idea. It's not too spread. I mean, people, the worst person is doing 40, which is like, they're doing something, all right? Um, Mid-range is like the average of your spread, and it's going to be simply maximize minimum divided by 2. In this case, is 29 and a half. So um, that's all I'm going to do right now in terms of statistics. There is also um, something called median for the center data. That means like the middle of your 
point, maybe I'll just tell you how it is. Let's say you have three data points. One, two, three. Okay. Um, mean is going to be add them up and divide. One plus two plus three divided by how many points? Three points. So that's going to be six divided by three is two. That is the center. The center also can be measured as the median. That's the middle of your data. Median is like, I have three things. What's the middle of it? You sort them out, and then you look at the middle. Like in three points, the middle is going to be the second data set. So median is simply two. If you're looking at the spread, and I just told you about range, range is going to be max minus min. Max is 3, min is 1, so that's 2. Or mid-range. And remember how we did that one? Max minus min divided by 2. That's 2 divided by 2 equals 1. And I told you, don't worry about standard deviation right now, but this is going to be um, just, just enough. You may also hear the word mode. That's the most repeated data. In this case, you don't have a mode because they're only repeated once. But you may have a um, data set that has some data that's the most repeated, that's the most popular. Let's say I have some like that. One, two, 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 three, four. Obviously, two is the mode of the data because it's the repeated most, most number of times. If you have a data that is repeated same amount of time, like this one's repeated twice, this one's repeated twice, it's, it looks like your data is pulled by those two values. You may say, my data is bimodal, and the modes are 2 and 3. Do you see it? If your data has a bunch of repeated values, 2s and 3s, and you know they're all repeated a bunch of times, uh, maybe you don't have a mode. Um, usually when you have a mode, the data is kind of like attracted to that value. Uh, past the bimodal stage, I would not even worry about the mode. If it's trimodal, quadrimodal, um, I wouldn't say then that you even have a mode at this point.